Streamlabs OBS vs OBS Studio In today's video, we are diving into two awesome streaming tools. We'll explore what makes each of them special, checking out all of the cool things they can do for streamers like you, whether you're a pro looking for tons of options or just starting out and want something easy to use. Stick around as we break down Streamlabs OBS in OBS Studio to help you pick the perfect one for your streaming adventures. Alright, first things first, we'll discuss Streamlabs OBS. Let's take a look at the good things that this software has. Number one, it has a user-friendly UI. So this one is very user-friendly. You can just go ahead and customize this even if you are a beginner. So the way that you're going to do that one is you can just go ahead and click this one here in order to make these things appear. Now you can have their editor here. Now if you're going to go ahead and click the layout editor, you will be able to see the layouts here as well as the elements that you can just go ahead and drag and then drop it to your studio just like so. Now you have here different options. Just basically choose which one you prefer and then if you want to change the layout you can just go ahead and start clicking these here in order for you to check which one applies to you the most and then you also have your overlay here if you're going to go ahead and click the scene you will be presented with these we have thousands of overlays widget themes and also site overlays so for the site overlays for example if you want to change how your site looks then this is where you are going to go so you have different options here of course some of these are free some of these are paid but you can just definitely try to look for them in here now if you're going to go ahead and click this one you will be able to see different categories as well and then if you're going to go back to widget themes just this one here yes we have widgets here and they're also very easy to install and we're going to go ahead and take a look at them later on now back at here again in our widget themes you can just start customizing your widget themes right away so for example we have here pirate hunter this is from one piece so if you're a big fan of anime then this one is the way you're going to go now you can just go ahead and click this one here install widget theme it is not for free it requires streamlabs ultra but don't worry it is a bang for your box guys you can just go ahead and click the link in the description box and the comment section below and you should get up to twenty dollars of discount now anyway again please choose which one you prefer here and then if say for example you want something that is for free you can just go ahead and type the word free in here just like so and then you will be seeing here a lot of free options for you so just go ahead and try to check which one you prefer and anyway we're going to go ahead and click this one here the app store so we're going to click app store home so here in your app store you have a lot of applications that you can use for free so this will be part of your integration and something that you can use directly when streaming for example we have here the streamlabs music so you can just go ahead and click this one here and then install it and then you can have a lot of tracks that you can play while you are streaming so yeah basically i've tried this one and then you can just go ahead and do so for yourself if you're interested we have a tutorial for this in our channel go ahead and check that out all right number two templates and themes as you can see here guys i almost have nothing in here so what i can do in order to make this a bit more beautiful is by basically adding templates and themes now how am i supposed to do that i'm just going to go ahead and click this once again and from here i'm going to go ahead and click the overlays and click scenes now from this point forward I'm just going to go ahead and try to choose something here that is for free you can just go ahead and type the word free in here and then you'll be able to see here a lot of scene overlays for free so the one that I like to use is something like this okay I really like this one but anyway this is also part of it so I'm just going to go ahead and install this one here because there's a kind of like a very good green color here and I think I like this one so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and add. But again, just try to choose which one you prefer here. There are like 20 pages here. You can use all of them. All right, now after installing this one, you can just go ahead and start choosing your scenes here. And then you also have your sources in here. Now, say for example, if I were to choose this one here, you will see some sort of transitions happen. Take a look at this one, guys. There you go. Isn't that cool? That is for free, Avaron. I did not pay for that, but I think that looked really amazing. Similar to this one here okay all right see it's amazing right now we're going to go ahead and click the live scene once again and here you have your game capture so if you're running the games already it should be automatically captured and yep that's amazing right now again you can just go ahead and try to look for other things here for example we have the alert box library and then you also have here your widgets and then the creator sites 
All right, number three, integrated widgets. Streamlabs OBS excels in providing integrated widgets such as alerts, overlays, and chat boxes. And I'm gonna show you some of these. So in order for you to add a widget, you're just going to go ahead and click this one here. And then we're going to go ahead and click the widgets here at the top. Now we're going to add an alert box. So these alert box are going to be used for donations, subscriptions, follows, bits, host, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and click add source, add source once again. All right, so as you can see, we have enabled them all. Now here here you can start customizing these for example for the domain you can change the image here for the merch still the same thing youtube membership subscribers super chat so on and so forth now i'm going to go ahead and close this one and as you can see we have it here in the center now i'm going to add something else so it's going to be a donation goal or a subscription goal for example now we're going to click add source so say for example for the title i'm going to call this one the name of the channel and then the goal amount say for example 700 and then the starting amount is uh, 654. all right end date we're going to set this one like two days from now so 12 2 2023 okay click start goal okay done all right so here's how it looks right now all right, so say for example, we're going to put it here because our alert box is somewhere here in the top and I'm going to show you this one. So that's why we make it big. Now, say for example, we have 47 hours to go. If I were to click the test widget, all right, just this one here, you will see it here, subscriber. So say for example, there is a new subscriber. It should appear here in our alert box. Say for example, like this. All right, so you can see it appear in there and then you can see that there is a new subscriber added in our subscription goal. So now it has become 655. Now you can just go ahead and start customizing these again. You can click this one here and then there are a lot of things that you can add. Say for example, that widget is not here. You can just go ahead and click this one here in order for you to be able to use a custom widget. So you can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript in order to create your own widget. Now again, that is how it is. Number four, we're going to talk about integrations. Streamlabs OBS streamlines the monetization process by incorporating built-in integrations for donations, subscriptions, and other revenue generating features. So say for example, you want to enable your donation, you can just go ahead and click this one here, and then you should be able to see here below the dashboard, go ahead and click that one, and we're going to go ahead and click tip settings once again. After doing so, you will be redirected here wherein you will be able to see your tip settings. Now, in my case, this is my tip page. I can just go ahead and start using this one. But say, for example, you want to customize, you can just go ahead and scroll down here for some of the things that you can use. Say, for example, for the tip methods, this is where your tips are going to get. For example, in my case here, I have PayPal Plus. I also have PayPal Lite as an option. So you can just go ahead and choose between the two what you're going to add. Now, if you want to customize this design, go ahead and click this one here and then you can just go ahead and scroll down here for some of the things that you can change now say for example you want to check the tip history you can also do that by clicking this one here so you have your monthly tippers you have your super shots top tippers band tippers and you can also see here your members now number five built-in chatbot also known as Cloudbot, this integrated bot provides streamers with customizable commands, automated moderation, loyalty point system, and interactive features. Now here's how you can go ahead and set it up. You can just click this one here and you should be able to see your dashboard here. Click this one and then you will be able to see here your Cloudbot. Go ahead and click this. And then you will be redirected here to your dashboard. And as you can see, I have disabled mine, but I've already tried this one using my other account. You can just go ahead and click this one here to enable this one. All right, now it is enabled. And then go ahead and customize your settings here. For example, you have your mod tools here. You have the name. Name primary requires your Twitch account. And you also need to have like Streamlabs Ultra for this one. But yeah, we have modules, commands, timers, codes, queue, loyalty. So this is the loyalty points that I was talking about. So your viewers can earn currency while you are streaming. They can use their currency in their mini games, giveaways, and to trigger commands. And yep, we ha also have others here like the loyalty store, polls, batting, giveaways, user management, importer, and of course, they are all customizable. Very easy to use, everybody. If you're interested in learning how to do that, you can just go ahead and start looking at the video here in the channel. And yep, those are the things that I like the most about Streamlabs. I want you to just share your thoughts on why you like it. So you can just go ahead and leave the comments down below. So how about OBS Studio? What makes it really amazing? Now here are the four things that I like about it. Number one, it's highly customizable. 
OBS Studio stands out for its highly customizable nature. And here's what I mean. So for example, I have added here a plugin. So I mainly use my OBS Studio for recording, say for example, like what I'm doing right now. And here I have added this caption here. So if I'm going to go ahead and start recording here, you will see that now it is going to detect what I am saying. So just like so. And yeah, this is some of the things that you can do. Now for the other plugins, you can just go ahead and open your browser and from here you're just going to go ahead and search for OBS Studio plugins and you will be redirected here in this website. Now here at the side, we have here the OBS Studio plugins. Basically, this is for everything. You have there the themes, tools, scripts. We also have here guides for general studio and classic. Now in my case, you can just basically find here all the kind of studio plugins that you can add. So say for example, if you want to add a screen notes, you can just go ahead and click this one one here and then you will be redirected to this website here now we're going to go ahead and download this one and then basically you can install it right away it's very easy very simple if you want to know how to install it there's actually a tutorial for that on YouTube but yep that's how you're going to do it now yeah this is just one of the things that you can add but there are so many more others to see here Number two, open source. As an open source software, OBS Studio offers users the freedom to modify and contribute to the code base. Now, there is actually a community for this one in order for you to get help. So for example, if you're going to go ahead and click this one here, you should be seeing something like this. And if you're going to click join, you will be able to join its server just like what I am right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click join OBS community. All right, and there you go. So you can just go ahead and start answering this one. So for example, if I just want to hang out or if I want to get help, then you can definitely do that one. Just go ahead and click next and then scroll down and agree to this one. Click finish. And then you should be able to see this one here. So of course, the first thing that you're going to see are the rules, but you also have here the support portal. So you can just go ahead and click this one here and then you will see here all the kinds of supports that you want. So for example, I'm a Windows user, so I'm just going to go ahead and click this one. And then you will see here all the kind of problems or say, for example, you are encountering something and you want to back read, you can just go ahead and search it here at the top. But yeah, this is like how you're going to do it. For example, right now, someone says here, I tried to capture the game with Windows capture but it doesn't work any suggestion so there are people here that are just going to start answering but if you have a Mac OS you can click this one this is also for Linux if you have an audio problem this is where you're going to go now you're going to go ahead and click this one here and you will be able to see the development you have the plugin and tools you have idea suggestion and then you have here the community for just talking so it can be like related to tech related to encoding related to streaming or basically anything that is off topic so just go ahead and try to join this one here if you're interested in OBS. Number three, low resource consumption. Now, this is one of the things that I like about OBS Studio. It is recognized in efficiency in resource usage, offering a relatively low footprint on system resources. So this is definitely perfect for people who have a bit of relative low spec PC. Now, say for example, if I were to right click here and click the task manager, I should be able to see here my OBS Studio and take a look at the memory it is consuming. It is only 73 MB. Whereas for Google here, you see that it's it's eating like 3000 MB. So that is really high. And then if you're going to go ahead and compare it to Streamlabs desktop, you can see that it's eating about twice as much or maybe three times. So yeah, that's definitely one of the things that I like about OBS. Now, number four, great control. OBS Studio provides users with great control over every aspect of their streaming workflow from advanced audio and video settings to real-time scene switching and source manipulation. So this software empowers users to have precise control over their broadcasts. This level of control is particularly valuable for experienced streamers who demand a high degree of flexibility and responsiveness in their streaming setups. Both have their strands catering to different user preferences and levels of expertise in streaming. But personally, I prefer Streamlabs as it is easier to use, navigate, and overall user-friendly. What more can you ask? Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. 
So yeah, what about you? Which one do you prefer? Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio? Share us your thoughts in the comment section below and as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.